with absolute value inequalities, it's very important to remember to isolate the absolute value before setting up an AND or an OR statement. Before setting up an a compound inequality, we must first isolate the absolute value. Beware, with absolute values, we cannot distribute or combine unlike terms. It's also important to remember that we cannot distribute values through an absolute value bar. If we want to isolate the absolute value, in this case in example 1, it's 3x plus 4, we must first subtract 2 and then divide out the negative 7. We are now left with negative 7 times 3x plus 4, the absolute value of 3x plus 4, less than negative 21. Notice that the negative 7 is being multiplied to the absolute value. And so the opposite of multiplication would be division on both sides. We'll be dividing by a negative 7 on both sides, so it's important to remember that we have to flip our sign over. So now we have the absolute value of 3x plus 4 is greater than 3. Since it's greater than, we know that it will be an OR inequality. Now let's go ahead and set up our OR compound inequality and graph. Solving for x, we subtract 4 from both sides to get 3x is less than negative 7. Divide by 3 on both sides to get x is less than negative 7 thirds. On the other side of the OR compound inequality, we get Three x is greater than negative one. Divide by three on both sides, and we get x is greater than negative one third. Giving myself a little more room, we see that we can now graph the compound or inequality. negative infinity to the left, positive infinity to the right, zero in the center. We need to graph x less than negative seven-thirds. This will be an open dot heading to the left or approaching negative infinity. On the other side of zero, Actually, no, it's still on the left side of zero. We have x greater than negative one-third. 
So we'll call this one third, negative one third, and it will be an open dot approaching positive infinity. Now that we know how it's graphed, we can now write our union between both pieces. Parenthesis negative infinity comma negative seven thirds close parenthesis union or negative one third comma positive infinity close parenthesis. In example two, we must again remember to subtract five from both sides because we have to isolate the absolute value before we can break it into two pieces. Notice the two is being multiplied to the absolute value, so we're going to divide both sides by two. And we get four x minus one in absolute values is less than or equal to six. Now we can break this up. Since it's less than or equal to, it's an and compound inequality. For x minus one is less than, or sorry, greater than or equal to negative six and 4x minus 1 is less than or equal to positive 6. Solving for x, dividing by 4 on both sides, we get x is greater than or equal to negative 5 fourths. And solving for x on the other side, we get 4x is less than or equal to 7. Dividing by 4 on both sides, we get x is less than or equal to 7 fourths. Graphing. negative infinity to the left, positive infinity to the right, zero in the center. X greater than or equal to negative five-fourths, we'll call this negative five-fourths with a closed dot heading to the right. And X is less than or equal to seven-fourths, is somewhere about here, and it's a closed dot heading to the left. The interval on which these, this compound and inequality tr is true is between negative five-fourths and seven-fourths. So the interval will be negative five-fourths comma seven-fourths, close bracket.